Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Closet. I'm back. We've been gone for a hot minute. I know. I kicked this on and I was like, what do we do? It's so weird. What do we, we do? We got so sidetracked with life. We did. We fell out of it. Wow. Since like... May 8th was the last one we posted, May which means... 8th? We recorded it way before that. We probably recorded it. I think I put it up pretty quick, so probably... Beginning of May. Let's just say beginning of May. Let's say beginning of May. And it's mid-June. We haven't gone a week without a podcast since 2018 when we started the podcast. Well, you know what? Life happens. And then life happened. Is today West Virginia's birthday? Happy birthday, West Virginia. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Daddy's Day. I saw... I just now, right before we started with... But, but, even if, you're, even if you're a sugar daddy, happy, happy. I don't think sugar daddies qualify. I bet they got a lot of attention today. They probably have their own holiday. Sugar daddy day. Sugar daddy day. I yeah, feel like it should be day. like. I think it would probably be a big day maybe, for some. Maybe it's like July, like mid-July. Probably. Because you have Mother's Day in May, June, Father's Day, and then yes. I think maybe July should be sugar daddy day. Sugar daddy day. I better get one. Sugar daddy and then sugar baby day. Dear Lord. Anyway, right before we turned this on, I read, I was reminded on, I don't know, the internet, that today is West Virginia Day. And did you know, did you know Probably. that technically today is the end of the mask mandate for West Virginia, which I thought it was already. That's but right. guess what? Baby Dog. Don't spit out your water. Baby Dog was at the Capitol. If you don't know who Baby Dog is... Oh, I know who Baby Dog I is. I know, but not everybody does. He is Governor Justice's dog that he's been using to try to get us vaccinated. Baby Dog needs you to be vaccinated. Baby Dog really wants you to be vaccinated. Well, Baby Dog gave away a million dollars at the Capitol today to a lady. I just read on here, a lady won a million dollars for ve- being vaccinated. She was the winner of the state's first cash prize giveaway during a West Virginia Day celebration that coincided with the end of the state's mask mandate. She's going to buy her son a new car, which is very nice. Justice, along with his wife, Kathy, who announced the winners of a lifetime hunting and fishing license, hunting rifles and shotguns, weekend getaways at state parks, scholarships and some trucks were given away today all as incentives for getting vaccinated what the hell is going on why are we doing this this is so creepy to me it creeps me the creep out it's a little this creepy anytime weird. the government gets involved this weird heavily, weird where they're weird. pushing you to do something like this right um i'd do it for the million though i'll tell you that Maybe just maybe go play the lottery. Lifetime. Don't well, sell out. Just go play the lottery, man. Did how they win this? How was this structured? Did, um, you have to have a better it, chance of winning a million uh, of being vaccinated than the lottery. Uh, I I don't know. I I, I don't know. It didn't say. Um, it doesn't say if he just drew a name. Anyway, additional lottery drawings will be held every week through August fourth, and will feature. All of the same prizes that were awarded Sunday. The final drawing will also include a, include a 1.588 million grand prize and a 588,000 second prize. <laughs> so when's that going on through? August 4th. How your do you Your daughter's qualify? birthday. Um, um, you're in. Are you automatically included if you're vaccinated? Or do you have to I, like, uh, others who are not vaccinated are in a drawing with some more serious consequences. What? You're in a drawing right now if you choose not to get vaccinated. A drawing for your life, Justice said. I don't <laughs> see why you would take the risk. That's what he said. We're in our own drawing for our life, he says. Uh, you know what the risk is? 99.7% chance that that I'll survive if I get COVID. And guess what? There's like a ridiculous percentage chance that I won't get it. So I don't think it's life or death. It it says as of today, about 85% of the state's 65 and older population have been vaccinated. 77% of the fifth of the 50 and over population and 62% of eligible populations, 12 years and older. So, I mean, 
I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that this whole time. I just, before I turned it on, I was seeing where he was paying people to get vaccinated. And that, to me, comes across a little suspicious. Don't sus. Suspicious. It's a little don't sus. Suspicious. I don't think you're using sus in the correct term. It's a little sus. Sus doesn't, sus mean something else? It means suspicious, but mm, I think it, does it means to you're us. implying that it's, that someone's. No, sus to us means that, but sus to your son, you know, does not mean that. I know this. Okay, so I just needed to clarify that you're not actually calling it well, what the kids call sus. Whatever. I'm calling it what I call it. And right. I'll use it in multiple ways because that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, that's that. I just think it's pretty sad that, that we're bribing people to get. Well, even, even um, I'm not. Well, I shouldn't say it. Did you see the video of the Fauci guy, not to interrupt you, from 2017? I don't know. Do I watch any of this? Where he stuff? said he almost guaranteed that there would be a pandemic by the time during Trump's campaign well, to I mean, be prepared, and it's going to be epic. So, oh gosh, it's all planned. Huh. I mean, this has all been planned. Huh. We're all falling into it. Anyway, yeah. let's talk about something more fun. I don't want to be so controversial because oh, controversial. I don't really like to be all that controversial. But it's fun to have this stuff going on for a lot of people. Panic and paranoia. It's a, it's a fun thing. It's yeah. exciting for people. They like to be up in arms and buying too much at the grocery store. Well, they well we're not doing that anymore. No, but... It's all back to normal. It's back to normal for now. It feels really cool, you know what I mean? But yeah. then we're going to get bored with this and there's going to be something else. Mm, I think we're all pretty sick of it, so I think we're going to be okay without dealing with it for a while. For a while. Anyway. We're going to get lulled back to sleep. Anyway, um, it's Father's Day. Father's Day. And we just hung out all day. We did hang out all day. Did you have a good Father's Day? It was great. It was fantastic. We was started fantastic. We started the day with coffee and grocery shopping. And I told him he didn't have to go. You did tell me. But I was like, you know what? I want to hang out with you. What am I going to do here? I would have cashed in on that. If he's like, you don't have to go to be like, bet. I'll be out here on the deck. When you get back, we'll go somewhere. Well, there we had to go get coffee. We are already out. It didn't take us long to shop. It's not like it was a big ordeal. No. And then we came back here. No, no, we did. Yeah, we came back here. Then we went down and hung out on the patio to Delphia. Had a Bloody Mary. A I mimosa. had a mimosa. I haven't had a mimosa in years. Had me some biscuits and gravy. Then I came back here and proceeded to drink beers and watch the U.S. Open outside. I took a cat nap. At the house. Until we went to your parents' house. And then we, 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 uh, we grilled. grilled. Jeff had to cook on Father's Day. I feel like a lot of fathers have to cook on Father's Day. Yes. But I don't think you all mind it. I think most of you like to be behind the grill. If somebody's got to do the grill, and I would rather it be me. Yeah. You're, Kinda. you're pretty good at it. I like it. I'm not bad. You're pretty good at it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I, I know what to do with the grill. The grill in the bedroom, baby. Those do, are my oh two my specialties. Gosh. Do you prefer Do you prefer a um, charcoal grill, a gas grill, or the one that you have that has the flat surf, like the like the hibachi style? I like the setup I've got now where I have, I love the charcoal grill, right? I love it. I love the flavor. Like I do too. you can do with it. Right. And I love the convenience of the black Blackstone griddle now that I have. Mm-hmm. I don't need a gas grill. I well, don't isn't need the one. Blackstone kind of like a gas grill? It thing? is, but it isn't because it doesn't have grates, you know, but right. you can do a lot of the same stuff on the Blackstone grill. If I got a gas grill... I would want a Weber. They're awesome. But I don't want one. Well, What would be awesome is a pellet grill. Then I'd have the trifecta. I don't know where you're going to put this. We Actually, could I would just get right rid here, of the, the charcoal grill. But I need. I can get a new grate for that charcoal grill for $26, and it'll be like new. Well, we'll put that on our agenda. I've been spending so much money on this baby shower. I know. That it's stressing me out. So the baby shower is this coming Sunday, the 27th. and Babies. I'm stressing. Another baby in it's the house. Another baby. We haven't had a baby in the house since Nate. Yeah, I know. But still. um I'm there's so much pressure on me with this baby shower. So much. He's yawning. I'm so confused. I told you when I came out here I was tired. You always yawn. You even said maybe it'll pep you up when you get I know. I can't but remember like what you said. A shower is what I said. Yeah, a shower. Anyway, I have a lot of pressure on me, and he seems to not be caring over there, yawning about it. Like, you have to do nothing but show up and help me. I'm Sometimes jealous. it's good to be Sometimes the dad. Sometimes it's good to be the dad. 
Yes, you don't have to do any of this. Although you are going to be through a lot of torture this week when we go trial runs of the backdrop setup and everything. Because I just have to do trial I gotta runs. you got to do the trial runs? Yeah, I told you. I'm a one-run guy. No, 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 no. You're not with a one-run girl. So you're, you're, on, my, you're on my ticket. Hmm. I just I told you when the backdrop stand gets here, we're going to set it up and see if it works right. I don't want to be at the venue hours before setting up and something not go right. That makes it exciting. No, that makes it way stressful. Hence excitement. Hence no, not it excitement will be like for me. like we're in a movie, like an action movie almost, but we won't get killed. We'll do you want me to be able to get pressure. to this baby shower or do you want me to murder somebody? Hmm. Because I have to know that everything's going to go smooth. I've already done a, listen, I've already done a balloon trial run. She wanted one of these balloon arches. I don't know if you've seen a balloon arch. They're really kind of cool and they make a big statement and they're very inexpensive. But trick is you got to put it together yourself. So you have to blow up all the balloons. You have to tie them and then you have to assemble this balloon arch. So we did a trial run the other day. What's the statement that it makes? Does it make a statement that we're balloon people? No, it's a pretty. Have you not seen it the I way it's supposed to guess be? It's still up there in her floor. No, the I said the way it's supposed to be. Yes, I think you showed me a picture of it. Okay, on it's the pretty. Internet. It's pretty. So, like, you know, you want these big dramatic backdrops, and some are beautiful with flowers and all this stuff. Well, that's expensive. Why didn't so, you take the one, the rehearsal one and put it up this morning for me in the bedroom when I woke up for Father's I, if Day? I would have thought through it. I would have. <laughs> I would have got another one made of all blue and I would have made it last night and that would have been another practice run. Because since I've made the trial run, I've watched some YouTube videos. I didn't watch YouTube videos before with the trial run because my mom said there wasn't any YouTube videos. I should have not believed her. What YouTube is she on? Because there are YouTube videos know. of literally, I would like you to find something there's not a YouTube video of. I agree. Literally. But I just trusted her, so I went with it. Well, then I Google it. or I mean, I YouTube it. After we made ours that didn't look so great. And there's plenty of videos that make sense. And I'm like, oh, that's the way you do it. That seems a lot easier. So anyway, all that to say, yes, this week will be full of trial runs. So just be ready for that. It's exciting. I can't wait. Oh, I know you can't. I know you can't. You can't wait at all. <sighs> anyway. Sorry about that. That was a refreshing drink. Oh, I'm glad. I had a refreshing chug of our water from our sponsor. <laughs> Great value, <laughs> purified drinking water. That gives you a lot of clue. <laughs> Our sponsor's Great Value, which is the generic uh, version at Walmart of. And they're really not our sponsor. Uh, no, we don't have any of those. I feel like this table needs to be moved back some. That way, it's too close this way. But anyway, yeah, well, do that later. Um, what else you got going on there, sir? What do I have going on? Let's think through this. Um, I have. I just have. Like the NBA playoffs, those are going on. It's a good one. It was a good good night last night with some good games. We got a game seven tonight. Atlanta could go on to the Eastern Conference Finals if they can pull this game out. The Bucks won last night. Makes our friend Michael very happy. He's from there. He's a fan. Is he from there? No. Is he? Yes. Um. So that's a, that's a this big is boring. that's a big win. Okay. Other than can other, we talk about something that other than the NBA, which God, is awesome. Thank God. Let's talk about the NBA is not awesome. It's boring. Basketball the NBA is boring. NBA is amazing. It it's is boring. Awesome. It's exciting. It's not. It's fantastic. It's not. That used to be their commercial. Fantastic, because it is. No, it's, it's fantastic. Not. That's relative. I don't think that everybody thinks the NBA is fantastic. Listen, it's fantastic. If you don't think so, you're dumb. That's how this works. Okay, Nate. <laughs> you know you're acting like a 13 year old boy right now I'm yes. allowed to have my opinion And so sure. are you If I you think you the are. NBA is fantastic then you can Thank you, appreciate that But I think it's rather boring Okay, hey, to each their own You need a sports podcast sports If you really want to talk cause baby. I check out when you start talking about sports We could do a sports podcast Not with me, you can have Michael True. do that We'll do it with somebody else Um what else is there exciting going on? Do you have nothing exciting other than basketball playoffs? Well, I mean, for me, the level of excitement in my life is so hard. If to everybody else, my life is probably very exciting because I live with you. Oh, yes. And our insane crew with all kinds of adventures all the time. 
pregnancies, nursing school, Fortnite or COD, Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Our lights outside just came on. It it's a bit early. Sorry. Need to adjust them. Y'all, listen. I'm sitting. Those, that noise you're hearing in the background is you're just. Farting. No. This noise is Nina. The Nina. The Nina. Pinta, the Santa Maria. <laughs> Nina is my napping slash tanning chair that Jeff bought me. And I took a nap on her. And I have to name my things. If it's a household item or something I'm going to use every day. She named my stuff. No, I, we've already talked about that. <laughs> Never, ever, 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 ever is like, and haven't we already talked about that in another podcast? Well, how come you can name objects, but you can't name? Because that's disgusting. I'm not naming your stuff. I that's got weird. Some, I got some really cool names. No, I'm not doing it. I'm going to check out on that. <laughs> it's not happening. Can we name your stuff? No. Oh. No. Gross, that's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, we talked about that before. If you do that, you're weird. I can't help it. There's no other way for me to say it. Oh, gosh, you could have so many good lines like, open up, insert name. You know Gross, I mean? I'm not. <laughs> I, I have no filter when it comes to this podcast. I'm kind of mean sometimes. And if you have it in pet names for your junk, then... I, I'm worried about People you. People have pet names for the junk. It's, it's weird. Just it's gross. You don't like. No, it's weird. Well, this is where I need to have. Be able so to you have shouldn't. Live you shouldn't talk to it. No. no. You talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give some encouragement. You know what no, I mean? No, please talk him tell up. me you don't. <laughs> Do a pe- <laughs> don't because I'll think about that during the time and I'm gonna be done. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it. And I'm gonna be like session over because I don't know what you all talked about before this. Right or does, after? Does it talk back? No, not really. Only when he's really happy. I are you being serious? Do you really? No, no, I've oh, never God, I've never God. talked to. Him. I was about ready to reconsider. Reconsider what? This the last whole, thirty years? Yeah. Like you're going to do any better? Like the, the next guy with a penis that comes in, is it going to have some creepy weird stuff going on? Is, if he's not talking to it, they're having a name That's for it. That's it? That's it? You're okay with everything else? <laughs> 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 he could have totally different fetishes oh, that you'd be no, like, no. wait, what? You I want know, me to I'm act joking. like a what? No. You want to do what with my feet? Weird. Nobody Which is really do. popular. Nobody would want to do anything with oh, my you'd feet. you'd be shocked. No, my are. feet are seriously busted and everybody makes fun of it. Everybody in our family. My mom was like, I saw a foot mask and I thought of you the other day. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Your feet are good, We're though. at the store and we go by the feet, you know, like feet scrubs. And my kids are like, Mom, you need this. <laughs> your feet your feet are in perfect symmetrical shape, though. The That's tops of my thing. feet are fine. And my toes are okay. I have tiny little toenails. But when you get to the sides and bottoms, it's like a freaking horror show. It is. It's disgusting. You can't even lie. I don't have a problem with your feet, but I'm not a foot guy. I don't. I don't. Look at this. Feet are supposed. That's gross. Your feet are made for walking. And walking's what you'll do. These boots are made for walking. Yeah, but yo, your feet. They're gross. They're they're they. We need sometimes a pedicure. You need a pedicure. Sometimes when we're under the covers and my feet touch yours, I get real self conscious that you're gonna be like, "Why is there sandpaper in the bed?" That's funny. No, I never. They're they're not really that rough. I think you're a little over exaggerating. I am not over exaggerating when it comes to my feet being nasty. They're gross, and everybody knows it. But anyway, what did I have? I think it's a relation. We we'll we'll do that next podcast. I think I have a relationship podcast list, like uh, like a few things to talk about relationships. Well, we're not going to get into it now. No, no, we're not going to get into it now because I don't have it present. I don't have it readily available mm-hmm. so we're gonna have to wait until tuesday tuesday our recording tuesday. days are gonna be tuesdays thursdays and sundays that way if we fall off one of those days it's no big deal we get two out of the week bam you were just whispering like asmr tuesday asmr i re- <laughs> i ran across that asmr girl on tiktok and I, she's fascinating she is She's fascinating. fascinating. She comes now that you turned me on to her. She comes across my my FYP all the time, and right. I'm like, "What's she doing?" And sometimes I'm like, "I don't like that." And well, then sometimes I'm like, "I like." Yeah, this. there's certain things that she doesn't that she does like with her mouth that I don't like. Like, like I don't like That's that. That's not cool. I don't She's like, like that. Like, 
Yeah, I don't need my. I don't need like that. stuff like that. Is I don't weird. mind the rings or the like. She has these the rings, and then like it's just interesting. Like she'll pretend like she's cutting hair, and like the sound of the scissors and stuff, and like she'll whisper all the time like this, and that's kind of relaxing. You was, know what I'm saying? was she? Was it her? The one that was talking to somebody like that? She was cutting their hair. Yeah, she's like, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, she like okay. So people will request on her. Um, what should we hear on the podcast? That would be really out there, but you never know. But anyway, she she has a um, Instagram, and she w- she'll tell you to go to her Instagram and send a message of what you like, what you need. And she will. I bet she gets some foul she, requests. Yeah, she will do a TikTok video specifically addressed to you. So she'll she'll during the TikTok video say you say you say I want you to pretend like you're putting on my makeup or something. So she'll be like Angie, sit still. Let me put on this powder. She'll have like a powder brush and like she'll like you know what I mean. She'll talk to you. She'll pop it against something. And yeah, it's likes. really interesting. So or you know, there's cutting your hair or there is doing like she's like doing a checkup on you for a doctor. You know, that guy, that kind of stuff is interesting. She'll like, open up, let me take your temperature. This is really weird. Your temperature stuff. is really good. It's really normal. Now let me, now look at this light. Look at this light. Look at the light. Look at the light. Look at the light. Look, look, look at the light. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Look at my, like, like she'll do stuff like that. It's really weird. It is weird. It's interesting. I shouldn't say it's weird because, you know. It's kind of stuff that makes me think we are in a simulation. <laughs> because if you're looking down in from like a distant place at us, you're going to be like, these people are freaking strange but the things they do it's soothing to some people to get pleasure some people i've seen she has a youtube uh page too and i've seen people say that they put such and such episode of her youtube on at night just to be able to go to sleep because she'll like whisper stuff like it's time to go to sleep it's time to lay down she oh tries. you know what i mean like that kind of stuff i used to like to put on the thunderstorm cd yeah it's kind of the compact same thing disc back in the day do we have a disc player anymore? And could I, we find it? I don't know. We tried to find a CD player the other day to yeah, play we went the, house the baby's for a ultrasound DVD player. Video, yes. Right, and we couldn't find anything to play a DVD in, not even like our computers. So, yeah, it's old technology. They they don't use those things anymore. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like a taking cassette tape the, <laughs> is dead. So is a CD. They're taking and a new DVD. technology. So Brooke went to get this 4D ultrasound, which this is relatively new. I mean, I know it's not brand new, but it's relatively new technology where they can you can see four dimensional image of the baby. So you can see the nose and the mouth and like you can see everything. And they take these awesome pictures and they take a video of the whole ultrasound. Okay, the whole 4D ultrasound. And then they they take this high tech new technology and they put it on a CD. It's really weird. Is it high tech or is it forty old? Is it an old machine with a CD player and they record it to a DVD? Well, I mean, it could be. Well, not that not that the technology isn't still the same, but it could have been. They could have had like they could have purchased like an old retired forty one. Maybe it's I mean? an older piece of equipment. Yeah, but my dad was able to put it on a flash drive. So which flash drives are you even getting? And now we have, but we have it on our phone though. Now, right? I do. Right. You probably didn't open it, but I did. I have not opened it. Do you even care? I do. I watch. Wh- I live with you all. I've sc- it's posted everywhere. Well, I know this, but it, she's and so cute. And you guys cute. even edited it. She's so cute. We I didn't edit to, it. We just I knew cut it to, down. I need to download it. I forgot. Um, she's so very adorable, and she looks. Her face is chunky, and she looks just like Avery. And she's adorable. It, she is. She's probably going to be here earlier than August seventh. So we're going to be grandparents here real soon. Very soon. Oh, dear Lord. Which is one reason why you've been absent. We've been dealing with a lot of stuff. Grandpa and Grandma blog. We're doing a new, not blog, podcast with a blog. We need to do... I'm not doing a blog. Grandma blog. blog. You blog. You can write it down. We could blog. We could get some advertisements. I'll vlog, but I'm not going to blog. There's something different. We could vlog it, and we could have Siri transcribe it into a note. In our notes, and then we could just copy and paste that to a blog. Nobody wants to read stuff. People read every day. It's crazy. They don't want to read what you can watch. People are making thousands of dollars off the freaking Pinterest blogs a month. Who wants to sit and read, though? Like, I'd rather everybody. watch it. Nuh-uh, not everybody. A lot of people like to use their brains. So you're saying I don't use my brain because I'd rather watch somebody. I'm saving my brain. What are you saving it for? Work. If you need exercise. 
What are you saying? <laughs> Everybody today has picked on me. You have. Nate has been I'm just horrible kidding. to me. I would rather watch stuff too because I'm not a great reader. It's not even about being a good reader or not. It's like I don't want to sit here and read when I can just watch it. And you know what else happens when I read? I get sleepy. Well, there you go. You know what I'm saying? I just think a vlog would do better than a blog. Well, maybe. Maybe we do neither. Maybe we just podcast like we always have. Maybe. I don't know. Well, okay. anyway, we're back. We're going to be on a normal routine. As uh, I mean, there might be a hiccup one week. You know, when the baby comes, I might Listen, not really want to be doing I will podcasting. be podcasting live from the delivery room. I, I wouldn't be surprised. And we will cover it all. Not from the delivery room. You're not allowed in there. It's just me and Avery or just me, depending on how many people they let in. Maybe I'll po- record a podcast with Avery and people that are waiting on the baby Jeff, to be born. he's not going to want to talk to you. If, if It will be something he can listen back to years from now and go, this is when that. we were having you and me and your pap or poppy, we were out waiting on your mama to pop you out. And we just talked about sports the whole time. <laughs> I hope he can be in the room, too, because she said if there's just one person that her and Avery both agreed that they wanted it to be me. I wish it would just be him. I wouldn't mind it just be him and I'd be in the waiting room, but she can't do it without me, she said. Sounds about right. So Sounds pretty normal. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. Par for the course, I'm going to put on say. my brave face. Ah, it, it's, it's instinctual. I think it is too. Yeah. Like when I protected her in the haunted yes, house. Yes, you'll be good. It'll, it'll, it'll. When push comes to shove, so to speak. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, this was fun. It wasn't really. It wasn't hard to get back into. Welcome back. I think we're back. I don't know how good this one is, but it's nice to get the old pipes warmed up again. Right. 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 Make sure the equipment works. Properly. Make sure the equipment works. Hopefully, it recorded. Hopefully everything was turned on right and we just weren't talking through microphones to each other <laughs> for the last 30 minutes that on would our be deck. Kind of funny. It would be. All right. Well, that's all I got going. All right. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>